Thanks to Tom Cruise's amazing real-life stunts, the last few Mission Impossible movies have turned the franchise from a mediocre spy series into a must-see action blockbuster competition. Fans like Ving Rhames, Simon Pegg, and Angela Bassett, all of whom play supporting roles with Cruise, outside of the M1 franchise, these actors have been in some great action movies that are hard to forget. First, Collateral, 2004. Starring Tom Cruise and Con Air, 1997, starring Ving Rhames. Tom Cruise portrayed a heartless murderer in the slick neo-noir film Collateral, which was directed by Michael Mann and starred the same name. The film features only two actors and is filled with tense moments. Jamie Foxx plays a regular cab driver and Tom Cruise plays an assassin who takes his taxi for the night so that Foxx can perform one of his many jobs throughout the city of Los Angeles. Not only is it interesting to see Cruise play a bad guy in Collateral, but he also makes the story interesting by analyzing Foxx's cab driver and forcing Forcing him to face the lies he tells himself, that is one of the ways in which Cruz makes the story interesting. A significant portion of what makes the Mission Impossible series so enjoyable is the high concept stories that are told in each installment. Ving Rhames previous work in this genre of action movies includes not only spy movies but also other roles. Rhames was a member of the film's ensemble cast and contributed to the film's pulpy, explosive, and action-packed tone. He had a part in the film in between his performances as IMF Tech expert Luther Stickle, Nicolas Cage plays a wrongfully convicted prisoner whose planned release is put on hold when career criminal Cyrus the Virus Grissom takes over a plane full of other prisoners. The film is based on the true story of Grissom, who is convicted of a series of murders. The character Diamond Dog, who is Cyrus's second in charge, is played by Reigns. Next, No Time to Die 2021, starring Leah Sadu and Black Panther 2018, starring Angela Bassett. Leah Sadu has appeared in both of the James Bond films and Mission Impossible, is indebted to those films in a significant way. She portrays the deadly assassin Sabine Moreau in the movie Ghost Protocol, which starred Tom Cruise as Ethan Hunt. She portrayed Dr. Madeline Swan, Bond's love interest in the film Spectre and No Time to Die, which Daniel Craig starred in as James Bond. During the course of the run of the series, 007 has only had a few romantic encounters and he has only given birth to a single child. In the novel No Time to Die, a very heartbreaking story, he decides to sacrifice his life in order to save his wife, Madeline, and their daughter, Mathilda. The same year that Angela Bassett began portraying Queen Ramonda in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, she also began playing the role of CIA director Erica Sloan in the Mission Impossible television series. Her debut performance was in the critically acclaimed film Black Panther, in which she played Queen Ramonda. Black Panther is an exciting comic book action movie directed by Ryan Coogler and starring the late great Chadwick Boseman in the title role. The movie was released in theaters on February 16, 2018. It is only a significant cultural landmark and a well-known tale of the hero's journey. Moving on, Leon the Professional 1994, starring Gene Reno, and Hot Fuzz 2007, starring Simon Pegg. In the first installment of Mission Impossible film series, Gene Reno stood out in the role of Franz Krieger, a former agent of the International Monetary Fund who assisted Ethan Hunt during a time when Hunt was unsure of whom he could trust. That was a fantastic performance, but Reno really shines in Luc Besson's Leon the Professional. That movie is her career high point. Reno portrays the titular character, a professional assassin. In her film debut performance, Natalie Portman plays an orphan who Reno takes under his wing and teaches how to kill. Simon Pegg has been a consistent presence in the Mission Impossible film series ever since the third installment. Over the course of more than a decade, Benji Dunn transitioned from being being Ethan Hunt's guy in the chair to becoming a field agent armed with a gun. After joining the franchise, Pegg collaborated with Edgar Wright to write the script for his own action film. Hot Fuzz is the second installment in the Three Flavors Cornetto trilogy. That was directed by Edgar Wright. It is both a high-octane police thriller in the style of John Woo, set in a sleepy English village, and a dead-on parody of buddy cop movies. The setting of the film is an English village. Next up, John Wick 2014 starring Michael Nyquist and Heat, 1995 starring John Voight. 
People in the United States recognize Michael Nyquist best for his role of nefarious Eastern Europeans that he has played. In the movie Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, he had the role of Cobalt, a nuclear strategist who is Tom Cruise's adversary. In the film John Wick, he played the role of crime boss Vigo Tarasov, which was originally played by Keanu Reeves. When the titular character's house is broken into by Vigo's conceited son and his dog is killed, the only thing the main character has left of his late wife is his dog, so he decides to go back to work. The mesmerizing performance by Keanu Reeves and the breathtaking direction of Chad Stelensky make John Wick an action-packed roller coaster that never lets up. John Voight portrayed Ethan Hunt's superior, Jim Phelps, in the first installment of the Mission Impossible film series. One year prior, he appeared in Michael Mann's tense cat-and-mouse thriller titled Heat. This was the first time that Al Pacino and Robert De Niro collaborated on screen. The character of Neil McCauley, who's played by Robert De Niro, is a skilled bank robber. Pacino portrays the role of a police officer, Vincent Hanna, who is on his trail. Macaulay's fence is Nate, who's portrayed by Voight in the film. The heat cycle lasts for three hours, which is a considerable amount of time. However, it seems like very little time has passed because the action is so riveting. Finally, The Matrix 1999, starring Lawrence Fishburne, and Top Gun Maverick 2022, starring Tom Cruise. In the third installment of Mission Impossible film series, he had a minor but memorable supporting role in the International Monetary Fund director Theodore Brassel. Morpheus, Fishburne's character in The Matrix, is without a doubt the most well-known role he's ever played in an action film. The sci-fi action film directed by Wachowski siblings is a masterpiece that covers all the bases. It raises questions about the nature of reality by implying that everything we are aware of might actually be a sophisticated simulation of that reality. In addition to that, there are a lot of gunfights, explosions, and fights involving martial arts. In between performing risky stunts in the air for movies and Mission Impossible franchise, Tom Cruise hopped in a fighter jet and performed risky stunts in the air for the sequel to one of his other classic action films. Due to the fact that it is so much more impressive than its predecessor, Top Gun Maverick is rapidly becoming the most well-liked film of the year. Not only does Top Gun Maverick transport viewers into the sky with its vertiginous camera work and the roar of jet engines, but it also has a story that tugs at the heartstrings as Maverick tries to make amends with Goose's son. As a bonus, Mission Impossible Fallout fixed the franchise's female lead problem. Mission Impossible had trouble with female leads in the beginning, but Mission Impossible Fallout fixed the problem. Tom Cruise's action spy series is a lot like the James Bond series. For example, Ethan Hunt is always paired with a new female agent in love interest. As each Mission Impossible sequel and IMF mission came and went, great female leads were completely forgotten. This made the one-off appearances of these characters more and more disappointing. Claire Phelps, played by Emmanuel Bart, was the first female lead in a Mission Impossible movie. She died in 1996, so she couldn't come back in later movies. This made it possible for Tawinda Newton's character, Naya Nordoff Hall, to join the cast of Mission Impossible 2. In Mission Impossible 3, Michelle Monaghan's character, Julia, showed a new side of Ethan Hunt's life. But Maggie Q's character, Zen Lee, was the one who worked with him in the field. Jane Carter, played by Paula Patton, worked with Ethan on Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. Mission Impossible Rogue Nation then showed Isla Faust, played by Rebecca Ferguson, as the new female lead in the franchise. Based on how the series has used female characters in the past, it wasn't certain that Ilsa Faust would come back, but Mission Impossible Fallout broke the trend by bringing Ilsa back. Instead of getting rid of her after one appearance like Tawandi Newton, Maggie Q, and Paula Patton, Christopher McQuarrie, who wrote and directed the sequel, used it to learn more about her and Ethan's relationship. This made her an even more important character. After Rebecca Ferguson stole the show in Rogue Nation, it was a smart move to hire her. Still, it made the second movie and Ethan's story more familiar to other people than Benji and Luther. Unfortunately guys, that's all the time we had for today. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Till next time, cheers.